Um, I'm Talithia Williams, and I'd love to tell you a little bit more about myself. I'm a mathematician and a statistician, so that means I work a lot with numbers and with data. And my research looks at cataracts. So cataracts are a disease of the eye, and I try to model their development over time and how they affect different populations uh, using statistical models. I'm also really excited about getting uh, young girls and women and people of color interested in science. So a lot of the work that I do is motivating people to be excited about mathematics and data science and engineering and computer science and all things science. Now, why should you care about what I do? Well, um, for disease modeling, it's really important that we understand the development of disease, how our body responds to disease, so that we can design medications that can address the issue. And so um, with the statistical modeling of cataracts that I do, um, it helps for researchers and for drug companies to develop um, you know, ways to either cure the disease or, or address what causes it because they're able to see and understand the model of the development of the disease and how the disease progresses in the body. Um, and so for the work that I do, it's imperative uh, that I partner with medical professionals and ophthalmologists who are doing sort of the hands-on work and I sort of give them the mathematical model to understand disease development. My work matters to me personally because um, ever since I went to graduate school, I wanted to have an impact on society and on the world around me. And so any way that I can help improve the life of others um, just brings me joy. And so for me, working on uh, disease modeling and developing statistical models for disease is a way to positively impact society um, and also really help uh, people who are less fortunate than, than myself. I mean, here in the United States, cataracts aren't really um, a, a disease that's researched a lot because we have so much access to surgery. We can get cataracts taken out um, and people have sight in this country even if they have the disease. But in developing countries, in countries in Africa and India, people are blind from cataracts. And so I've enjoyed partnering with the World Health Organization to figure out how we can understand this disease development and then also send ophthalmologists to those countries to areas that have highest needs so that we can address it in those populations. Some of the benefits that come along with big data is with this massive amount of data comes a lot of information. And if we're able to, um, to dissect that information, we can make better choices, we can see companies develop, um, we can see our lives become a lot easier. I mean, Amazon is a big example of what do you do with big data and, and how do you use that in a way that's gonna affect and change society. Um, with that comes potential drawbacks. So drawbacks of big data might be Say in genetics, let's say you wanna you know, find out who your ancestors are and so you turn over your DNA so that you can get a map from one of these companies. Um, what does it mean to turn over my DNA? And what happens when they have massive amounts of DNA? And who has access to all that data? Um, technically it belongs to me, it belongs to you. Can it be sold? Can it be used to develop new drugs? And if so, do we have some ownership in that because we gave them some of our information? And so there's ethics that comes with big data, uh, who owns it, who has a right to it, and who also has a right to profit from it. Um, so for maybe women or people of color who might be interested in science or mathematics, um, I think advice that I'd have for you is, one, to continue to persevere in the face of adversity. Um, I don't think my path to becoming or getting a PhD or, or even getting to this stage was easy. Um, and I was not always affirmed for my mathematical ability at every step of the way. And so in spite of that, um, I'd encourage you to still persevere. Um, even when people don't think you belong there or don't anticipate seeing you in that space, to, um, to own that space. Um, and then secondly, to you know remember where you came from. I think I come from a really rich heritage and um, there were times when I felt conflicted because I wanted to bring that to the table but it didn't always feel welcomed. It felt like I needed to assimilate to um, the mathematical culture. And that wasn't always who I was. And so um, I would encourage you to be bold and confident in letting people see all of who you are and not just your science ability or your mathematical ability, but you know maybe your faith or your tradition, your heritage, how you grew up, um, bringing all of that to the table because it lets people really see who you are 
And in doing so, it helps them to reflect that they have their own culture, like they have a culture that they likewise bring to the table and may not always think about. I think my faith helps me in my research in that it um, helps me to be compassionate uh, and thoughtful about the people that I'm working to serve. So even though I'm a statistician and I'm working with, with data, behind that data are people whose lives can be affected by what I do. And so um, my faith makes me want to do that with compassion, with integrity, with honesty, um, but also with a zeal and a passion um, that I think is fueled by my faith. Um, the way that I think my work influences my faith I got a chance to go to Africa to talk about the, the work that I've been doing and to really meet people, some of whom were blind from cataracts. And so it just, again, also taught me compassion, but um, just gave me a sense of urgency that, you know, it's not just, you know, um, me working on this alone, it's doing this for a group of people whose lives are gonna be changed. And so that really uh, helped to impact my faith as well. So uh, in addition to being a statistician and um, a person of faith, I have an amazing family, a wonderful husband, and three boys. And so um, I'm sort of proof that you, you can't necessarily have it all, but you can sort of try to juggle it all and fit it, fit it all in. Um, I love those parts of me that get to be a mom and spend time uh, with my kids. I love making them a part of my everyday life, um, bringing them to, to school with me or traveling with them I think has made my life richer, but also um, made my life much more complete as well.